So we've looked at uh, promoting using the attribute adjust dictionary. Uh, another use of the attribute adjust dictionary is we can specify a different attribute, of course. And in this one, this is an attribute called properties. And for this one, if we go down to our uh, set values, we can see I'm doing two things. I'm creating uh, two dictionaries. One of them has the key of shape. The other has the key of shape scale. So you can pretty much uh, guess what these do. These are going to store the kind of shape that I want as a control object on the, the, um, the joints in my guide skeleton, and then also define the shape scale. And so you're not seeing any controls in the viewport, and there are no controls here. These are just attributes on these points that will be read later on using the auto rig uh, or the apex auto rig components uh, and other apex nodes. So they will read these attributes and they will say, ah, okay, for these joints, we want a shape of circle wires and we want that shape scale to be one in all three axes. So I'm doing that for, um, I guess that's the IK. So that's probably all the legs. And then this one, I have a, a different set of joints from my guide skeleton, and I'm setting, well, essentially the same attributes, but these could be wildly different. So then I'm sending those uh, baked into this geometry as attributes, and we can have a look at that. If we go to the geometry spreadsheet, we can see that currently on our skeleton we have um, all of the joints have the promote attribute. The root joint has translate, rotate, and scale. And then the rest of the joints have either translate or rotate. And then some of our joints, the ones that we've specified in these two nodes, have this uh, set of properties, shape and shape scale. Again, these are dictionaries. Um, and I can be very specific, and, and there's lots of different properties that I can define here, and you can find all of those in the, um, in the documentation. So I'm deciding ahead of time on my skeleton, on the guide skeleton as part of my asset, what is promoted and what kind of controls they should have. So this is very powerful because it, it instead of having to do this work in the rigging stage, uh, traditional rigging stage, you know, the creation of forward kinematics, the creation of inverse kinematics, etc. I can do it ahead of time. Um, and then those nodes that create that functionality will read these attributes. So that's parameters and properties. Let's look at tags. So this one is not the attribute adjust dictionary. This one is using the attribute adjust array. And it's pretty simple. You pick a point, in this case, uh, our root joint, the dome joint, that's this guy over here. We have a core joint, that's this guy right here in the middle. Uh, and we're giving these joints um, a tag that can be used later. So oftentimes um, I'll make the tag name the same as the name. Uh, this is fine. But then if I go down a little bit more, I can see here I have a value of IK and all of these joints are getting this tag of IK. And if I display this, I'll be able to see that. So displaying the node and then with it selected, I hit enter in the viewport. And now I can see all of my tags. So in this case, they're they're all pretty simple. Most of them are, uh, you know, just the name of the node, it, uh, the name of the joint itself. But in the case of the legs, each of these joints in the legs have two tags. They have IK, and that's the same for all of the legs because all of the legs are going to get IK. But then I've put 
in this case left back leg to the left back leg right back leg right front left front so now this joint can be discovered or found using two different tags is it a joint that's going to be involved in ik yes because it's got the ik tag but is it a joint that's going to be involved in the right front leg no because it's part of the left back leg it has that tag as do the others so you can use tags to uh, add layers of information about your joints uh, about what kind of functionality they'll be involved in um, and you can do that all ahead of time not as the mechanical rigging part of your of your asset setup but rather right when you create a skeleton i know that these all these legs are going to be part of ik so they're all going to get the ik tag to be picked up by the apex nodes later and all of these are white and if you have a lot of tags that might be a little bit distracting you can colorize these so if i said what if i said ik and i gave it a red color i think this will work yeah so i can uh, say that um, all of all of the ik tags should get a red color and then i just need to refresh the node and now you can see uh, that all the iks have red So tags are a very important part of rigging with Apex. Um, Apex can really utilize these kinds of things uh, to provide very procedural functionality. Um, we'll see an example of it um, much later on where we have three quite different, really radically different skeletons, um, but all are fed into the same rigging nodes and yet they are they're radically different um, and it's because they have um, the proper uh, channels promoted they've been given the correct properties and they've been given the right tags to distinguish how they should function so all of those are then fed into the same rigging nodes we're not making any specific changes based on these very different characters and yet they all get the same kind of rig uh, we'll see that a little bit later so for now uh, that's tags and we'll see how those are used um, when we add this additional functionality to our asset